Hi everybody, it's Vicki here. Happy 4th of July weekend. I hope you are out celebrating with friends and family and eating all the hot dogs and hamburgers that you can handle. Katie and I will not be having a show today because we will be doing the same. So in lieu of a show, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a preview for my upcoming whatnot show, my very first ever. I know, I'm jumping on the bus too. Uh, Wednesday, 4 p.m., I will be co-hosting and co-streaming this with Ryan and Allie Roots. Rally Roots, you know them, you love them, we do too. They graciously accepted to co-host with me and help me out with my first show. Uh, so I would love to see a bunch of you guys in the chat to help me out. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm kind of going all in on my first show with a lot of really good merchandise, not the one, two, four, five dollar items. So I'm a little nervous. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a little preview of what I'm going to have in the show on Wednesday. It's Wednesday for Women's Wear Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. All of the links are down below and I hope to see you there. So first of all, my show is 90s, 90s women's wear. Um, I think we all remember it. I think we all loved it. I know I did. I was super into the 90s stuff. Um, so I wanted to quick show some of the things I'm going to have. I have a, a dead stock Betty Boop handbag. It's kind of denim and faux leather and it still has the little tag on it from the 90s. Betty Boop is super hot right now. And then that whole patchwork thing from the 90s. I think we all remember that. This is pretty apropos uh, for today anyway. This is also a dead stock bedazzled flag denim jacket from the 90s. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? This is actually one of my giveaways. 90s hippie tweedy kind of thrashed t-shirt made in the USA Warner Brothers tag. This is one of my favorite pieces that I'm giving away as a giveaway. And this is also a dead stock, pretty rare Disney Hunchback of Notre Dame uh, backpack. So it's black. It's that whole backpack purse thing, which is pretty big uh, in the 90s as well. And is, of course, coming back now. So 90s fashion is absolutely back. And I'm happy to see it for one. So I'm just going to do a couple of more starting with some of the lower end pieces to show you, but little tiny crop knit top with the flowers, super cute with overalls or shorty shorts. This is one of my favorite pieces, this cropped patchwork kind of fun, funky print jacket, kind of a bomber jacket of sorts. Loving that. Cute little two piece short set here. Got the little top, little eraser head kind of top, red eraser, and the matching shorts, little Terry shorts, super cute. These are fun. These are actually men's jeans from the 90s, uh, so high-waisted and baggy, but carpenter back and some, these are guest jeans made in the USA, and kind of uh, destroyed with some patches, super fun baggy jeans, a little crop top maybe, and some Doc Martens. I can totally see that. Uh, let's see. Got some of these jogger track pants. They have some skulls and daggers down the side and then the zippers at the ankles. These are very uh, Gwen Stefani-esque from the No Doubt years. All the measurements, descriptions, brands, and all that type of thing are all listed, all preloaded onto my Whatnot show. So if you go to the show and look at the store, click on the little store icon, you'll see all of the information there. If there's something you want to pre-bid on, you can do that as well. Super fun, high-waisted 90s baggy shorts with the total, you know, Aztec print. Again, everything is women's except for those jeans, which are pretty much can be worn by men or women. Um, 90s vintage gap long dark practically dead stock um, denim skirt big slit up the front let's see these are fun these are also very Gwen Stefani ask I know I'm gonna refer to her a lot because a lot of this fashion reminds me of the early days of no doubt these cute, cute, cute little uh, geometric baggy jogger pants. They're cargo joggers. They're so cute. I love these with kind of like that safety utility belt. And then we're going to get into some of the fancier stuff. 
So this is a BCBG, the higher end BCBG um, from the 90s. We all know that was a huge name in the 90s. We're going one with Juicy Couture. Super cute strapless dress with a big bow high at the waist. This is a silk dress by Cache. Fun going out bubble hem, really big in the 90s, early Y2K, that whole bubble hem. This is vintage 90s Guess crop top. It's a ribbed crop top with these great little zippers. Again, would be cute with those yellow pants. This is vintage Diane von Furstenberg from the 90s. Just a simple little strappy top. This is dead stock grunge at its finest right here, right? So this is dead stock by a brand named Gooch. I don't know what that is supposed to be. This is an extra large and it is a men's. But what I loved about this is it has these big wide sleeves. So you could wear like a little lace bralette under this. You could belt it, cinch it, tie it, wear it as, a, as Katie says. Uh, wear it as a mini dress or uh, just like big baggy oversized a la the 90s. Let's see. This is a 90s long line blazer, double breasted blazer by Tahari. And it is in like, it's a red and gold and blue jewel tones uh, with the big wide collar. The long line blazers are definitely back to wear with a pair of jeans, even a pair of cutoff shorts. Super cute. Now this was more my price range when I was in high school, but this is LEI. Simple LEI cable knit short sleeve kind of like sweater dress with the drop waist. This is like quintessential 90s. Throw a brown belt on this thing and you are right there. Uh, also very, very 90s. So we've got our little cottage core slash grunge. It really depends on how you style it. Uh, little rose floral print dress, crepey kind of dress, the nylon dress with the buttons down the front and then the ties at the waist. Now when I used to wear these, I would wear these with big clunky shoes, Doc Martens, a leather jacket, that type of thing. Uh, or you can be like really cute and wear some strappy sandals with it. You can go either way. This is also a BCBG. It's a slip dress underneath. Tiny little slip dress with the kimono sleeves and a glittery skirt, big uh, V neck front. A lot of these items are dead stock, new with tags or pretty darn close to it. There's no wear. This is a 90s dead stock. Jessica McClintock dress. So this is very silver baby doll dress. Now this is not the Gunny Sacks era, this is the 90s era, not 70s and early 80s, but still super cute. And this is Scott McClintock, same family. I love, love, love this dress. If this fit me, I would have kept this one. Uh, halter neck, this illusion lace halter neck front but this super fun flouncy chiffon skirt with a drop waist. And then the back, it's just heavily beaded, so pretty. This is in beautiful, never worn condition. Back to that uh, cottage core grunge type of look. And this is like an eggplant purple colored uh, long dress. It's lace, it's double layered. It's got this broomstick skirt. Again, something to be worn with a fun big hat and some strappy sandals or a little leather moto jacket and some combat boots. We've got some 90s. This is also dead stock, tags right here. Nothing says 90s like plaid and flannel, right? So this is both plaid and flannel, cute little jumper. This is actually in a larger size, which is nice. A lot of vintage clothing tends to be in smaller size. As you know, it's harder to find some bigger sizes. So this will fit some of my more average sized girlfriends. This is one of my favorite pieces. So this is vintage Betsy Johnson. It's Betsy Johnson on the black label when Betsy Johnson was New York and much higher made and better made before it was mass produced and sold in like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and 
all of the lower end stores, Betsy Johnson really was true designer. And she does still have true designer lines that are very expensive, uh, like this dress originally was. It has a bit of that like corset, 90s bra top looking thing on the top of the dress. It's got some gold woven in. It's just stunning silk. I love it. And just a few more I'll do and I'll leave some for Wednesday. This is also dead stock. This is uh, back to that grungy type of look. It's this really pretty waffle weave. It's like thermal knit. If you look closer, it's kind of like, you know, long johns. Thermal knit by a brand called Pisces, made in the USA. It's just a long tank dress, and it's really cute dead stock. This is something I could actually see Allie in, Allie Roots. Um, cute little, uh, almost romper, but it is a skirt. It's a tiny little piece. This one is extra small. <clears throat> it's got the bejeweled buttons in the front, the sheer sleeves, tie at the waist, Again, I love, love, love this. Now let's see, I'm gonna pick and choose. I'm just gonna show a couple more. Back on the, the full 90s train, this is a little bit bigger as well. This is the vintage 90s Tweety Bird overalls. I love me some overalls, as you can tell. And I'll show you just two more. This is also dead stock, BCBG. It's a cropped fuzzy uh, sweater with some uh, leather uh, accents on the shoulders. Uh, as I said, dead stock, this retailed for 158 in the 90s. And then I have some vintage 90s Dolce & Gabbana. This is just a basic white crop top, but a really cute uh, sleeve accent with some little laces on it. Again, real cute with, uh, you know, a pair of uh, flare jeans or even wide leg stovepipe jeans. I just love the whole thing. So anyway, I even have a couple pairs of shoes I'm going to show. I've got some big platform jute sandals, very 90s, and also some vintage Skecher lug sole leather boots with the big stripe up the back, also very 90s. Um, all sizes, measurements, descriptions of the items are all in my whatnot show already preloaded. You can click on the photos, click on the store icon, and it'll give you the details, sizes, and measurements. You can pre-bid if you'd like, but I do hope to see you in my show on Wednesday, 4 p.m. with Ryan and Allie Roots. Don't leave me hanging, guys. Have a great weekend.